the manhaj of Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah is not based on personalities as we shall see. It is not based on a certain place, on a certain location, on a certain lesson, whereby if you don't come to this lesson, you're not from Ahlul Sunnah. And if you don't go to this conference, you're not from Ahlul Sunnah. La. Al manhaj al Salafi, the aqid of Ahlul Sunnah is connected to Qala Allah. Allah says, Qala Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in the Sunnah, wa qala al Salaf, bis. It is not attached to personalities. Why? Because personalities come and go. Imam Malik rahmatullahi alayhi said, oh, wa kullama ja'ana rajulun, ajdalu min rajulun. Is it every time that a man comes to us who is more argumentative than the man before him? Tarakna ma ja'a bihi Jibreel ala Muhammadin sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Lijadali. Is it the case that every single time that a person comes to us, or two scholars, or two ulama, or two students of knowledge have an argument and they have a problem, a quarrel between them, is it going to be the case that we're going to differ? And that has happened, and it continues to happen. And they continue to warn against one another, not based upon knowledge, like based upon desires. So that's who the Sheikh is referring to. When Sheikh Salih al-Fawzan Hafizullah was asked about this book, the previous one, and they asked him, and there are people that talk about this book, or study this book, or spread this book, he said, which book? What is wrong? You don't want gentleness? He says, gentleness is good. Gentleness is good. And I encourage you to be gentle to one another. That was the response of Sheikh, Ibn, uh, Sheikh Salih al-Fawzan, Hafidahullah Ta'ala. So it's a shame that today people go, not, go on like we don't have scholars and ulama. Like in the scholars of ulama, Ahl Sunnah are many. And they are dispersed across the land. They are in Africa. They are in Asia. They are in the Middle East. They are everywhere. And every single one of them will call to this methodology that Shaykh al-Abbad is calling to. As I was going through some of the books of Ahl sunnah of the scholars, of the contemporary scholars, looking into the words of Shaykh uh, uh, al-Abbad, I noticed that, subhanAllah, everything that they're calling to is common sense. If I was to say to you, don't oppress your brother, you say, Sahih Allah. Any student of knowledge who's memorized Arba'in and Nawawi will know that Allah Jalla wa Ala says that He has made inni haram to dhulm ala nafsi. I have made dhulm haram upon myself. Waj'altu baynakum muharam. And I have made dhulm, oppression, haram amongst one of you. And it's common sense. Do not lie. Lying is يعني, from the most evil of characteristics. So if I say to you, don't lie, you say, Naham, Jazakallah khayran. And everyone knows it's haram. The awam. They have never studied a book in 